Oh look, a bar. Good time to rant. Alex from Alex Social, a uh, social coach, social consultant, and I want to rant about alcohol. Alcohol. Fucking alcohol. Everyone craps on about how bad it is, how good it is, how desperately they need it. But alcohol is so important, okay, for a couple of reasons. It's, it's actually really important to your social life. Surprise to fucking prize. Like, why is alcohol important in a man's life? Because it actually is the kind of the direct tool uh, for bonding. It's a direct tool for bonding with other guys, right? And this is like, goes beyond, like, beyond records of mead and wine and shit back in the old Babylonian eras. And it helps you to kind of really humble yourself to your friends, share stupid, crazy, adventurous experiences. And when you drink with a group of buddies, you're really kind of letting them in. And I don't want you to think like, they're my friends. I want you to think of your mates as drinking buddies, not as your friends. Over the years, I've met thousands upon thousands of guys and in different social circles. And I have these situations where a guy will message me and he'll say, hey, hey, Alex, I don't drink. And all the guys who go out and pick up chicks, they all go out, but they don't often invite me with them. But I don't drink. And like, look, you don't have to drink, okay, to meet girls. You can do day game. You can do social circle game. You can meet friends of friends at dinner parties, having a little glass of wine or even orange juice. Or maybe you're training for the goddamn Olympics and you need to make sure that you're in really good fit shape. But once in a while, go on a camping trip and get completely obliterated with your friends. It's actually a really fun bonding thing to do. A way of you saying to your buddies, your comrades and your colleagues, yeah, I've got nothing to hide. You know, I don't care if you see me completely at my worst, you see me vomiting, you see me like getting curled up and stressed out and making a complete retard of myself. That kind of thing is okay as long as it's done for the right reasons. I don't want you to fear alcohol and that you need it to socialize with women. But if you want to have a good group of buddies around you and you're reading these books like, don't, don't ever drink, you're going to miss a huge and important, valuable part of life. And that is like deep kind of camaraderies, not friendships, but camaraderies with other guys, right? That's how you make friends with guys, is be willing to kind of get drunk with them, embarrass yourself in the same way that they probably embarrass themselves as well. When I go through phases of not drinking, I become very, very emotionally steady, which is good because I have clarity, I have routine, but with that consistency and that routine, I become so flat that I then lose passion and inspiration and risk, okay, I become just flat. So what I'll do <clears throat> once every three or four weeks, at the moment I haven't drank for about three weeks. What I'll do at the end of this, when work is done, I'm going to get completely obliterated with my good friend on holidays in a place in the Mediterranean. Makes sense, right? Then I'm going to feel terrible. I'm going to have pain. I'm going to be like all weird and emotional. I'm going to be upset, but then I'm going to be lying there, hungover the day after, lying on the beach. And it's kind of cool because whatever fucking chemicals and hormones that alcohol elicits, it gives you like these refreshed feelings of inspiration and self uh, disappointedness that motivates you to want to do a lot more so it's kind of like an emotional reset in a way in a perfect world I would say something like this work for three weeks straight 20 to 25 days don't drink go to the gym make progress get a routine live your fucking life and live it properly then time for a holiday it's been one of my values in life to put first bonding with important, intelligent, wealthy, abundant people before saving money, before saving money, before working on my body and before setting aside that. It can be like, if you're going to get drunk, it's going to take like 36 hours to get drunk and 20, like 24 hours to recover. By doing that with those kind of people, they'll always remember me as a guy who they can have fun with, who they opened up to, who I was willing to completely humble myself <laughs> and be willing to make a fool of myself but also it can bring out like other creative aspects of your personality. So in this modern day and age, as we've just literally walked past like 400 people sitting at tables here on a very casual, 
well organized and civilized Friday afternoon, every single one of them is drinking. Okay? The point is, the resolution of this rant is don't fear. Don't fear booze. The camel in the background. What a love camel. I'm saying don't fear it. Use it sparingly. Don't tie it into the causality of whether or not you're going to pick up girls. But if you're, if you're lacking like drinking buddies or like comrades to go out with or guys who you feel like you can open up to, you know, go to, the, go to the bar with a mate, have a beer. And guys, we don't talk much, right? We don't talk much about our problems or our issues or anything. But having a beer, then finally you might find a way to open up to your mates and vent a frustration or a problem or a depression or something super important that could be a real issue to you. If you open that up, then you can get a dialogue going with your mates and that's going to help you to to move forward, strengthen relationships, and you can also, you know, be someone there for your mates if they're having a tough time at, at work or family or whatever. So, rant, don't fear booze. Realize the value of it, getting drunk with your friends when you're camping or going out on the weekend, just, you know, running amok. You, they're the kind of relationships that you form when you're young, when you're young enough to take those risks, those social risks, and make a fool of yourself and be forgiven Okay, you can't do it when you're older. You're doing it for the right reasons to kind of like bond, all right? Alcohol is bonding in so many ways. And I know that people who don't drink have big trouble bonding with other buddies. So I think I've said enough about it. I'm going to go in here right now into this. What is it? Hard Rock Cafe. I'm not going to bond too much here because three beers is $100 Australian dollars for three beers. Literally fucking crazy. Alex from Alex Social. Check out the other rants and if you want me to rant about anything from my unique life perspective, being the, one of the world's most experienced real life infield pickup instructors, uh, put it in the comments below. Let's discuss it and I can rant about it and share it with you. To the bar. Of her, her more goofy side, her more, her more, her more down to earth side. I'm so cold, I can barely freaking speak out here. Um, to see her kind of open up like that is so, it's so gratifying to know that you could have bought that out of her. And it's so ugly to see a 